Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, we are doing another video with uh, the config server services plugins for cPanel. This one is the exploit scanner, also known as CXS. It goes for about $50 per server. It gives the ability to actively monitor our upload files coming in and out. What it does is, is it installs a hook into pure FTPD so it monitors anything coming in through FTPD. Um, it watches through Clam AV. It has like 6,000 known exploits, you know, standard that knows. It does file name matching. It looks for suspicious stuff, find your executables. Um, it, it's really sophisticated to say the least. Now, the requirements though is you have to run Apache 2. Um, it's like if you're going to want to monitor like. Um, upload scripts and stuff, you're going to have to go with Apache 2 just because Lightspeed, Nginx, you know, other ones are not going to support the mod security version 2 fully. Um, I've, now, this Pi has changed since this was all written and done. So nowadays, you know, Lightspeed may work on that one. Um, the problem is there's like so many versions of mod security version 2. I mean, there's two, there's 2.1, 2.5, I think it's like 2.7 and 9 or something, I don't know. I mean, it's been a while since I've looked, but there's like a lot of different versions of mod security too. So it probably will probably actually work with light speed since I know they've done some pretty good work on that. But So, uh, the other thing you need to do is because um, servers like Cloud Linux that run, uh, KJFS, there's also 1H2 that does a similar thing. Um, because of that whole system and how it's set up, you might have some glitches and issues with it. Um, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, the thing with this is basically is rigging into like all the different services, like you know, pure FTPD, and it's trying to monitor things. Uh, it also is going to need some kernel modifications to make sure that the CXS daemon can run. Uh, so you really need to make sure you read through the requirements to see if you can even meet them. Because of how this thing is running, it's kind of really, really picky on what it needs to do to actually run. But it's very sophisticated. It does a very good job at detecting stuff. So let's just go into the interface. Uh, real quickly though, the install is very, very simple. It's like a couple of lines install. It was done in a matter of seconds. Now, let's talk about the front end here. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, I will say one thing. Uh, the documentation is insane. Like, this is just crazy. Now, just to see how sophisticated this thing is. This is the command line options. So you can just see that you've got a lot of capabilities with this thing, a lot of scanning, matching. Uh, it's, you basically can code your own patterns to match and what to do with them. So you can really, really get very sophisticated. So if you got like a client or some spam attack from like a certain type of file, you know, you got all this, but it's, it's got a lot of capabilities. So uh, you want to make sure you read through this fully to understand how stuff is because there's a couple of modifications that need to be done manually to make some of this stuff work. And also you want to make sure you got all the modules installed as well. So you definitely want to make sure you read over this if you're going to use it. Uh, you can actually get this all online, the documentation that's online. We will provide a link. So you can click that underneath the video and check that out. Uh, you can also generate the commands. So this is actually very, very nice. Um, a very nice GUI. You know, we can just do a public HTML scan, a file directory scan. So you, you got the capability of how you want to do stuff. So you can create your scan. And you get all these different options. So you just create the little scan. And then you create the cron job. And you can also do the view shell command. So the view shell command is going to pretty much put it in um, command line options. But the nice thing here is you can create different ones. You can create the intensive ones to run later at night. Then you have like the standard everyday ones that could run. Uh, so you can also do maybe the ACE 
at one o'clock, the bees at two o'clock. So you count a lot, a lot of capabilities, a lot, and a lot of scanning abilities with this. So I'm going to say just this alone really makes CXS a really, really nice system, a very nice system, just because you got the ability to create all these cron jobs, specific matching. It's it's very, very, very nice, just to say. Um, we've also got the quarantine. You know, we can view the quarantine if we wanted to, if we created one. We can edit the cron jobs. Um, we don't have any right now, but we can create them, like we saw with the commands there. Um, you know, we can also view the different files that are associated with it. Um, let's just take a look at this one real quick. This is the FTP for monitoring. Um, we've also got the CGI one here. So you can edit all that. So the front end is very nice. It takes out the whole need to have to do everything from command line. But if you want to do command line, you can perfectly do that just as fine. But all in all, um, we we'll have to definitely say CXS is very nice. We haven't used this on a production box yet. Uh, but after looking at this, it really looks like it's going to be a nice thing to actually run. Uh, definitely because it's got a lot of options. Currently, we're using Maldect. Um, Maldetect. Uh, it's a free edition. Um, but to basically to say to compare the two, Maldetect you typically run like a one command line cron job, and it basically scans and monitors. But looking, but after looking at CXS, I would say if you really, really have an issue with a lot of um, bad clients, um, scammers, um, hacking, people not updating their scripts, uh, you may want to look into CXS. It's got a lot of capabilities, a lot of abilities once you dig into the documentation and generate the different commands. But I would definitely say CXS has a, a learning curve to it. So you're probably going to spend like probably a day to a week in the documentation, looking at everything, seeing what it does, and then deciding the best way to implement stuff to your server, because there's just a lot of different ways to do stuff. Uh, we'll probably end up doing another video in the future running CXS on an actual production system, but for the time being, we really haven't had an issue with um, clients getting hacked or anything since most of them are very very active they maintain the websites and everything so we haven't really had a big need for anything like that to justify the, the cost of five dollars on a server but if you do have a big issue with that and you want to basically take away the time that's needed to actually look into all the issues preventing fixing whatever uh, definitely give CXS a try um, it really looks pretty good and I definitely want to say just by looking at how in depth the documentation is and how you can generate commands, create multiple cron jobs and scans. I definitely say it's definitely a good keeper. Definitely send a look into if you got a big problem with it. So that's gonna conclude the quick overview on using CXS. Um, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, uh, subscribe on YouTube. We've got more videos coming out when we'll be doing some of these other videos more in depth. So check us out. Thanks for watching and check the link at the bottom. We will provide links to all this stuff.